you can see, it's 11.01 Sunday morning, the morning of Lexi's Christ night. Everyone's busy getting ready for the party. See the preparations. We're working on these conditions. It's the second time this has happened. Some sausage cutting going on. Lack of frost. It's a beautiful spring day outside. No frost. It's about 65, 68 degrees outside now. There's the vehicle that was smashed into in the middle of the night. Causing great excitement here on Leeds Boulevard. Lucas is playing with his new cement truck that the Uncle Mark bunny brought. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. You play with pillows. <laughs> beep, beep. Where's garbage truck? Where's garbage truck, y'all? Oh, there's. As we enter the kitchen, we're greeted by the sight of hors d'oeuvres. Oh, yeah, Uncle Dan is cutting the peppers. Joe and Uncle Dan cut up cheese. Mm. That good cheese? Good, good. Good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Excellent cheese. What's Lucas doing? Lucas was playing with his truck. Crisis. What is this? Was this a clean one? We're trying to decide whether that's a clean plastic cup or not. Whether we should use breadsticks served out of the container that it came in. And what do we do with the saran wrap? What do we do with the saran wrap? Alright. Crisis. Um, uh oh. Here we are at the church. Walking baby Is that better? We're very happy to be here. Is that better? Into the church. <laughs> What's the matter? They find spring day. Here we are She's waiting for up. the Ouch. first thing to start. It's not so high five. Got high five words. That's like uh, high 257. Line here. Sure. How come it hasn't started yet? Because no, no. <laughs> he doesn't have a suit on. Who doesn't? A father doesn't have a suit on. I think he's going to get on. He totally does. He is. Here's the first family and godparents. <laughs> I'm going to ask the moms and dads a couple of questions and simply answer with the sincerity of your heart. I hope they might hear you. Yep. Moms, you'll get the easier question because, quite frankly, fathers and moms do a lot more hard work and bring the babies into the world. So we've got to make the dads work a little bit. The dads, just answer this question from the sincerity of your heart, okay? <laughs> Mother, what name do you give your child? Lexi And Father, what do you ask of God's church this day for your beautiful daughter? Baptism. Baptism. Well, he's studying. You knew the answer. <laughs> That's the key answer. Dad, you can say anything else you want, too. You know, if you want to ask for a scholarship Dad. fund to be taken up today, a collection of your family, that's okay. Whatever the dads want to say. Dad. Mother, with their life, you're going to teach them the mystery of the cross of Jesus. In his birth as a child, he's living for us, he is dying on the cross, and most deeply, he is the namesake of our church, the resurrection. On the third day. Yeah. Jesus' sign of the love that only you two share, other than one. And so as we sang that song, Amazing Grace, always remember that word. Grace in Greek means gift. And she is a true gift that we must cherish and embrace her. Every part of her, her mind, her body, her soul, her spirit. Because those things are for you. And that's such a unique thing. To give every child. And as I said earlier, what would be from that scene? Right here, where I'm saying it, right around home, your sister. You know what, Katie? 
You know what's going to be happening in a minute? She's going to become my system, washes away original sin, and she can hear this prayer. And baptism also not only takes away original sin, but we're born into a world where these children obviously have no personal sin. Yet we're born into a world of sin. We're born into a world of evil that we unfortunately discovered in 2001. The evil comes from right into our own doorstep. That's why children and all of us need God's protection. There's even evil that we've seen, unfortunately, in the, in the Catholic Church in terms of children being abused at the hands of some of our children. How painful that is for us as priests. So it's a deep honor for me to see you still be able to trust you in the church, even under the pain of the church, when you see things like this happen, and the cover-ups that ensue. And yet baptism reminds us that the power of Christ is so much more powerful than the power of any evil in the world. So if you be very careful with that disturbing the children, open the tops of their garments so you can reach my phone. It's a sign that they are truly protected by Jesus in baptism. Family and friends, is it your will that Lexi Shea be baptized in the faith of the church that we have all professed with you? It is. It is. Great. Lexi Shea, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, oh the Holy Spirit. Oh, no. That's wonderful. You need to see all of them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Hi, guys. Come on, Megan. Let's sit.